Hi hey guys, my name is Philip and I'm a front-end developer. In today's video, we'll be explaining how to obtain wind speed and wind direction data using the curl programming language. Now, before we explain exactly how to fetch wind data, specifically wind speed and wind direction, let's briefly go over wind data and explain what it is and how it impacts day-to-day -day life. So, wind data typically encompasses measures such as wind speed and wind direction and is critical for accurate weather forecasting as well as safe maritime navigation. In meteorology, for example, understanding wind, wind patterns can help predict storm paths and understand weather changes, which is crucial for issuing timely weather warnings, for example. On the other hand, in maritime operations, knowledge of wind conditions can ensure safer routing and operations at sea. Now, let's take a look at the wind data which we have on hand in the Tomorrow IO documentation. So first of all, we have wind speed, which is the speed, i.e. the fundamental atmospheric quantity caused by air moving from high to low pressure, usually due to changes in temperature. It is measured at 10 meters above sea level and it's either quantified in meters per second or in miles per hour. Then we have wind direction, which measures the direction from which wind originates, and it's measured in degrees clockwise from north. Let's take a brief look at how wind direction is actually measured. So it's when it comes to zero degrees, it's either call or north, depending on how it's measured. East is at 90 degrees, south at 180, west at 270, and north at 360 or zero. Now, with that out of the way, let's take a look at how to actually fetch wind speed and wind direction data. So we have to open the Weather Timelines API, which allows us to query specific weather conditions for a location. Let's put a city here such as Copenhagen, which I already have in my example. And under fields, we can add wind direction. So first we can add wind speed and then wind direction. Let's set the, uh, set the unit system to metric. And uh, that's it. All we have to do is pick shell, i.e. curl or curl, as the programming language and copy it. Then our next step would be to open a terminal which we can do like that. Make sure to clear it. And all you have to do is now copy the code snippet, paste it here, and we are measuring from now to six hours from now. All we have to do is press enter, and here we have the data. Now, as you can see, since we are pasting it in the terminal, the data is not formatted very well, but it's still quite readable. So let's take a look. So we have wind direction here. So the wind direction is uh, in Copenhagen. It's at 260 almost. And the wind speed is at 6.3 meters per second. So this, let's take a look at the next time step. We have wind direction at 232 and wind speed at 5.4. And as time passes, we can see that the wind direction and the wind speed remain relatively constant, which is great. And given that the wind direction is at 250, we can say that it's coming from the from west because uh, West is at 270 more or less. And that would be it. You now know how to fetch wind speed and wind direction data and see it in your terminal. Thank you for watching.